Five years ago, when I was seven years old, my father passed away. I held his hand, kissed his cheek, and said my final goodbyes. That was devastating. And it felt like this monster had just come out of nowhere and stomped on me. That monster was grief, and that grief was a dragon. And my whole world just got destroyed. As a parent, I'm supposed to protect my child from being hurt. There's no Band-Aid made in the world big enough to fix this. And as I'm holding my son, and I'm watching three people fade into two, all I could think about was the line from a movie called I Never Sank For My Father, where Gene Hackman states, death ends a life. It does not end a relationship. This is a pivotal point in our lives. I had to make sure that the relationship between Wyatt and his father, that it continued. Five months after my father passed away, I went to a grief camp where they asked me a question. If I could have one holiday in honor of my father, what would it be? And I thought of a dragon shoot where thousands of archers all around the world shoot at paper dragon targets in honor of my father. When I picked Wyatt up that afternoon from grief camp, he told me all about his dream. And I'm thinking, that is so cool. Who wouldn't want to slay a dragon? I know I did. And I got the connection right away. Wyatt's father, my husband Dennis, was an artist for Dungeons and Dragons. Something that he and Wyatt could do together because of his limited mobility was to shoot archery. And that's what they did. Every day, they sat down and they shot archery. And I'm thinking, this would be so cool if we could make it happen. And then Wyatt told me, Mom, the other kid said it was a dream, and dreams never come true. You know what? I had just seen him lose his entire world when his father died. There was no way I was going to let this dream not happen. So the next day, I called a local archery club. I explained to him what I really wanted to try to do and what his dream was. And I said, can you please help me do this? And they said, yes. So the next thing I did was call Wyatt's school. I talked to the principal. And I said, this is what I want to do. Can we please have a dragon drawing contest? And she said, yes. So we picked the top 12 dragons, took them to a local printer, told them our story, and they printed them for free for us and we had our dragon targets. On March 8, 2014, we had the first Dennis Kalf Memorial Dragon Shoot. We had 116 archers, and it was an absolutely amazing day. What better way to spend on his first year anniversary of his death? It was just incredible. We laughed, we cried, and we shot a lot of arrows. We were absolutely exhausted by the time we got home. But before I fell asleep that night, I uploaded pictures and our story to my social media page. I wanted to share this day, because it was, it was a day that we got back. It was a day we got our control back. It felt like a normal life again. The next morning when we woke up, I was absolutely amazed and gobsmacked. We had over 300 shares and 250 messages of people asking us, when is the next dragon shoot? Where did it happen? We want to play too. And these are from archers all over the world. I was just floored. I didn't, we didn't know what to do. But we did know that managing our grief through archery, it gave us control back. And with that control, nobody else but you is pulling that bowstring back. Nobody else but you is letting it go. We grabbed our lives back from that raggedy old dragon. And every time that we let that arrow fly, we're whittling away at our grief. It doesn't go away, it just gets better as you go. As an archer, your main goal is to get a grouping. So when you're shooting three or six arrows, you're trying to aim for one small area. When you do that, 
when you hit everything in one small area, you're blowing up your target. In our case, we're blowing up our grief. We're taking our control back. And it's an amazing feeling. Managing our grief through archery has given us connections to others. This is the fifth year that we have had the World Dragon Shooting Day. And you'll notice we changed the name because now we have over 8,000 archers from 40 states and 68 countries in five years. This many people believed in Wyatt's dream. We just couldn't believe it and we still can't believe it. And we're so humbled that it's happening. A week after my husband died, I asked Wyatt, I said, we need to do something that's going to connect us together. We need that invisible string that will connect the three of us instead of two of us anymore. So I, I said, what should we do? And then we got a phone call out of the blue. A friend of mine called and said, hey, there's a local archery club that's having an open to the public shoot. That means that even though you're not a member, you can go and shoot. So I asked Wyatt, Wyatt, what do you think? Do you want to go shoot? I wasn't sure because he hadn't shot archery since his dad died, and he only shot archery with his father. And he said, Mom, let's go. And the first thing he did was he made sure he was wearing the dragon necklace that I gave him that held his dad's ashes. So I grabbed my husband's bow, which I had never held a bow before, much less shot. And I said, you know what, let's go. So we went to the club, and it was a lot of fun. I'm shooting arrows in the ceiling, I'm shooting arrows on the floor, but I was shooting, and it was a lot of fun. And I look over at my seven-year-old son, and I'm seeing that he's hitting the target every single time. And remember that grouping I was talking about? Mm-hmm, he had it. One of the gentlemen that worked there came over to him, and he said, how are you shooting so well? Because my dad's guiding my arrows. His father's guiding his arrows all the time. We've shown that we can impact the world one arrow at a time. And everybody has a dragon to slay. It doesn't matter what your dragon is, but everybody has a dragon to slay. Your dragon may not be the same as his dragon. Dragons can be anything. They can be ALS, they could be MS, it could be cancer, it could be depression. It could even be having a loved one or a friend deployed overseas. Everybody has a dragon to slay, and everybody can slay their dragon. When it is your time to slay your own dragon, just remember, everybody has that one arrow, and it's inside of them. And when it is time to slay your own dragon, you're not alone because there's thousands of archers all around the world out there helping you. C.S. Lewis once said, hardships prepare ordinary people for extraordinary destinies. We found our destiny in dragons and archery and the one arrow. Death ends a life. But we did not let it end our relationship, but instead we let it build a pathway into our future. And remember, dreams do come true.